Hey guys, it's Wraith, back with Subnautica. So, Unknown Worlds, the creator of this game, just released update 8 yesterday, and I'm here to show you what's new. So you can obviously tell that the HUD view is a little bit different, now you have numerical views for your oxygen and health in the bottom left, and they added a lot more beneath the surface. Uh, first things first, for building big machine pieces like the constructor or the Seamoth, things like that, now there are little fragments that have apparently fallen off of your main ship over there, the Aurora, and you can pick them up and they help with the crafting of these things. And you can see how the number in the bottom left of the HUD goes down, pick up a tank, changes the capacity, all that. So now you can see how much your gauges are actually changing. And see how I have to keep going up for air? Kind of annoying. That's a bit different now because we have something called a pipe. That's what's in my hand right now. And with the pipe, you can swim up to the surface, drop one, go down a bit, attach another, down a bit more. Uh, the main goal of this is you can string together as many of these as you want in order to create a deeper air supply. And with doing that, you can go just as deep as you want. You don't have much of a limit. And uh, with this little HUD display, they have streamlined it. So it's much easier to look through stuff, maneuver stuff. And up here you see modules and bases, two things that aren't Im implemented yet. So I'm quite sure we'll see what those are in the future. And, oh, look, my oxygen's getting low, so all I have to do is just swim up, and it should give me some more oxygen. There we go. Let's build this all the way down to this little crevice down here. And I, as far as I know, these things cannot be broken by wildlife, but I wouldn't be surprised. Let's take a try by swimming into this thing. Nope, doesn't seem to be doing anything. But yeah, all you gotta do is just swim up to these little end bits. It's not only the one at the very end, which is rather nice. Next we have the stasis rifle, which is an item that I'm sure will get a lot of use once this game is in its full release. All you have to do is hold the right mouse button, here until you hear that little beep and then you release it and anything caught in the field or that swims into it while it is up will be frozen so this thing that you see in my hand right now is called the terraformer and you can use it to take away material matter whatever make some weird kind of structures and you can also place it and build off of it. So technically speaking, you could build bases with this thing just by working out the system. So how you use it is you hold shift and right click to pick up materials. And in order to place them back down again, you just right click. And you can see it tells you how much material you've got right over it. So let's see if we can do a little bit of a tunneling with this. Ooh. Because you used to be able to tunnel, but you could not pick up a rock. And it would also fill your inventory with sand. I wonder if we'll run into a cave with this. It's like Minecraft underwater. <laughs> but wow, this thing has some reach. And I think this might let us see if there is indeed a bottom to the map. Oh. See if we can dig our way out of here. Or are we just too deep? I don't think this thing has a limit on the materials that you can put in it. I just don't. <laughs> oh, we're back to the sand layer. And we are free. 
hopefully we don't run into a creature right on our heads. But that also makes me wonder, can I build... Can I build islands with this thing? Ugh. Let's see if we can build an island right off of uh, this little... Little uh, arch, this little arc over here. If you're wondering um, how I can stay underwater for so long without having to go up and breathe, I just have an oxygen cheat on just to make this a little bit uh, simpler for you guys and me. And if you want to know how to do that, all you have to do is hit your little tilt button right below your escape key. Then in the bottom left you can enter in a little console commands, cheat codes, whatever you want to call them. The cheat for oxygen is oxygen, then you hit the space bar, and one. Oof. Islands are indeed possible. I guess that's why you'd call it the terraformer. Because it makes earth. You can live. You can walk like a human would. I just place it down too close to my feet. Yep. I'm sure that little bug will be cleared soon. But we have islands. That's rather amazing. <laughs> so now I will be moving on to this great thing called the current generator. And the current generator, you can place it down wherever you like, and it creates, well, a current in front of wherever you place it. And that can either move you, or objects, or creatures in your path. And I'm sure there are much more creative ways to experiment with it. Press the button, and there you go. Let's see if this guy swims into it. Yep, there he goes. Jet it away. Let's follow him. It's pretty easy to swim out of, though. At least for us, because we have control as humans. <laughs> so, say your uh, current generator runs you into one of these mean guys. In a pinch, you can use this thing in my hand called the air bladder to get out of places real quick bring you right up to the surface, faster than if you had hit space bar or anything else. And we are safe. However, when you do use it, it does use up oxygen. Keep that in mind. However, you can also use it to get up to the surface to make... to get more oxygen for yourself. So as I went down this deep in order to uh, show you guys the bone sharks, I found myself getting lost quite a bit. So at the top of my screen you can see there's north, east, south, and west. You can craft little compasses. That's somewhat new. I believe it was a not entirely implemented function beforehand. But now, as you can see, it is fully in the game and it works just fine. Now. This, what you're seeing here, all these weird orbs, um, they don't seem to do anything at the moment, but, oh, but I believe this is a new biome that they put together for this little guy right here, the bone shark. Let's see if I can get a stasis off on him to show him up close. Come on. There we go. It's the noise he makes. He's not happy that he can't move when I'm right here. You can definitely see why he got the name of the Bone Shark. Just look at that. 
This game is beautiful, and it's still only in early access. Let's, let's leave this guy alone. I nearly missed it, but it appears we have indeed found a bleeder, and they make some weird noises. Let's see if I can get him to, uh, latch on. Ah, that's almost kind of scary. So in order to get rid of it, you just have to swim far away from the place that you found it, I guess. Please. Ah. And they just pop right off after you swim away. Huh. I'd imagine that they could implement these little guys in, um, I guess places that they don't want you to get to unless you have, like, a certain vehicle or some sort of protection. And they could implement them in swarms. So you wouldn't be able to get through without something that would take quite a while to craft. This game just keeps surprising me. Well, with this little bleeder dude right here, I don't want to run into them again. So what I can do is get this thing called the beacon. Let it go, and it releases a little blip on, uh, I believe your compass, maybe. If not, I'm sure they'll implement that. And you can just swim around, swim away, like you're looking for your home base, and you'll see like a little blip in the distance. This little thing will do just the same. Well guys, it's about that time again. But before I go, I have to show you the single most important addition from this update, and that is the save button. Hit this guy and the next time you start up the game, it'll prompt you with a continue button with some stats underneath it and that button will bring you right back to your life pod the next time you start the game. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, I hope you found it as informative as I hoped I could make it. And if you did indeed enjoy it, leave a like, comment, and if you're feeling particularly generous, a subscription would be very nice. That is, subscribe. This is the Bone Shark, and if you don't subscribe, it's gonna eat me. There's nothing, there's nothing I can do about it. He's just too good. He's just too strong. Ah.